Well, those of y'all that have been watching Ranger Nick for some time know I am an animal fan and I love turtles and snakes and birds and all different kinds of critters, but I don't get a chance to hang out with cattle a whole lot, specifically how to move cattle, move cattle from point A to point B. But I do get a chance to hang out with a gentleman that knows a few things about that, and that's Jake Wilcox. Jake, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Jake is a barn operator out here at Northeast Georgia Livestock, and we're going to talk about the steps to getting cows moved from those two points, and it begins with a pre-trip of a truck and a gooseneck trailer like this, and that's what we want to start off today. Jake, walk us through what are some things from a safety standpoint, not only personal but animal safety, we need to be keeping in mind. Absolutely. There's just a few things we're going to check. First off, probably want to flip our lights on, All right. and then All right. as we go back, we can check and see that some of our running lights are working. Good. Make sure we have safe operating conditions on those. Okay. We're going to want to check and make sure that your gooseneck tongue is hitched Good. and that the pin is down so that your trailer doesn't bounce off safety chains. All right. Come back there here. There. Make sure your trailer wire is plugged in good and tight so that our lights have a good connection. Right. All right. Our on jack. Yep. Our jack is up. Okay. okay. As we walk back down this side, we're going to check both tires. Make sure that we seem to have proper tire inflation. You can use a, uh, you know, you could use a gauge to sure. check those. But you know, these tires look pretty good. This is a, this is a nice, uh, kind of new trailer. It is as a we new get, trailer. As we yeah. get back here, we're going to look, you know, and see. We got our running lights. They all seem to be in good working order. You can also test your blinkers, okay. test your brake lights, just to make sure people see what you're doing when you're hauling your cattle. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's get in this. Especially thing. on a wet day like today, we're going to want to check and make sure our floors aren't too wet, too slick, too much muck in them. You want to keep your trailers good and cleaned out. And this, Jake, look at this floor. Not to interrupt you, this is a rubber floor that's kind of corrugated like that. Really probably good for grip. Yeah, these, uh, you know, a lot of these new trailers like this one here that we're in today will come with what they call these life proof or lifetime floors. Okay. Rubberized floors. They do have a grid pattern to help with slippage okay. and uh, not have any problem with cattle going down or slipping in wet conditions or okay. when there gets to be some urine or muck in here. That's right. And so, you know, when we're getting ready to load, you know, our cattle on the trailer, we're going to want to make sure that our, our gates are back out of our way, okay. you know, so that we can, or if we're getting ready to load, we make sure they are unhooked where you could shut them easily on the cattle as you load them. Check for any sharp objects. In a new trailer like this, you're not going to have much trouble. Sure. But a lot of times, a, a place to focus is down here near the bottom. You yeah. know, you'll get a lot of rust down toward the bottom. Sometimes okay. you don't want a leg poking out, poking through, getting cut, Absolutely. scrapes, and stuff Absolutely. like that. You know, your livestock's your investment. A lot of these farmers, it's their way of life, how they make a living. And so taking care of them in transport, that's a lot of times the highest stress, you know, most movement, most confined area Absolutely. those cattle will ever be in. Absolutely. And so taking care of them during that transport time is really important. Well, you know, I'm a big fan of making sure those animals are safe and healthy and feeling good while they're moving and in fact that even involves them being low stress what I want to talk about next is getting them on and off of a trailer like this and some of the best practices so let's go there next so Jake we got some cows about to come off the trailer here getting the doors opened up why are we doing this inside of a small corral like this as opposed to an open field? Why not just dump them out in the open? You know, a lot of times, especially when you're coming home from, say, a stockyard or bringing some new cattle to your place, it's always a good idea to condition those cattle to, to being on your place. They're used to what they've been home all their life. Yeah. And so coming to a new place can kind of be an exciting time for them and, and can be a little stressful. Yeah. And so a lot of times what you'll want to do is just come right behind them like we're doing here. Okay. And just come and be able to shut them up and just give them a few minutes to kind of decompress. Yeah. Think yeah. about what they've done on their trip. We'll, you know, we'll check on to make sure we hadn't had any injuries coming home, you know, no yeah. scrapes or cuts or bruises yeah. that we might need a doctor while we have them up. Yeah. It's just a great idea to have them in a kind of confined space when you first unload them. Yeah. That way that they're not just, just as they came off the trailer there fast that you saw, they're not doing that in an open pasture where they may, not, may or may not know where the fence is. Absolutely. And I love that you talked about making sure that their stress level's down because that's something we talk about quite a bit affecting them and we want to keep it low stress. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Jake, we're standing inside of a tractor trailer trailer, 53 foot trailer that they're putting the cows in. I've never been in one of these, pretty cool. When you're looking at something like this before you load the cows on, what are you looking for to make sure it's a safe place for them? You know, we're making sure there's nothing that's sticking out that's sharp or any uh, objects. This, uh, the truck driver's just come up here yeah. and he's, he said his, you know, he set his ramps and he's got everything ready to go. So we're going to load, you want to load from front to back. So okay. he's got his ramps set down. And if, you know, you watch these ramps, they, they move up and down. And so his, his, his cattle can load right down there, get the nose loaded first. And then we can, we can drop those ramps down and load from front to back. We'll get our top loaded. 
We'll come back here. There's also a belly underneath there. So there's another level. There'll be two layers of cattle here. So one on top, one on the bottom. You know, no porous floor. You know, yep. you don't want any holes in the floor. You know, that's a big thing to check it, whether you're loading a pot like this or whether you're loading your livestock trailer at home is to really check those floor so that you don't have any legs sticking through. Yeah. You don't have any problems like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this trailer looks like it's ready and good to go. You know, if you're, uh, good, when he gets ready to come up here, he may come up here and go ahead and, uh, you know, he's got his door latched right here so that it won't swing open in, 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 to his way while yeah. he's trying to load. When he gets ready to load this section, he might come up here and go ahead and just pull that pin and have it where it is ready where he could shut it if he was in a hurry really? to make sure he didn't have some cattle come back on him. Now he's in here, that driver is in here when those cows are coming on and that's, I mean, that's well, dangerous. Either that or they'll follow them on. It just depends okay. on the, you know, the type of cattle you're dealing okay. with. If you've got more docile cattle, you may stand in here out of the way and let them just walk by you. Yeah. If you have, a, you know, some more, you know, maybe some dominant influence cattle or something that's got a little speed or a yeah. little, you know, blow to them, something that might be a little mean, you might wait down there and then, you know, you could even, you know, if the cattle get to be as, you know, rough to handle as something that's mean, you might even, you know, have a rope or something tied to this where they yeah. can pull it from the outside so as wow. to not have a chance of injuring yourself Absolutely. when you're loading your cattle. Absolutely. This is such good info for folks at home know, and I've never been in one of these trailers. This is so cool. Before they get on, so let's get the heck out of here. Well, I tell you what, y'all, I know that you have seen the power of the dog here today working. And Rodeo, we want to thank you for all the work you did today and keeping all these cows straight, getting on the truck. And I got to thank Jake. Jake, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. You did such a remarkable job. And Josh, we appreciate you taking care of this good girl right here, too. Anywhere Josh is, Rodeo is going to be with it. Y'all, I hope you've enjoyed it. And y'all know what to do. When you're online checking out the Farm Monitor on YouTube, hop on over to the Ranger Nick Facebook page and check that out and some of the animals I'm messing around with there. And until next time, for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick, reminding you, like I always do, that enthusiasm is contagious. So pass it on. Y'all, thanks so much for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you right back here again next month. See ya.